Age of Sigmar Stormground uh, Part 2. So, we have progressed through the complete first stage uh, to the second map of the campaign, and we have progressed through these levels to the very end stage of the second, ha the, the second map of the campaign. And after playing this far, uh, I feel that I can fairly say that um, what you saw in the first video is essentially the entire game. Um, I've been waiting for a challenging fight to uh, demonstrate, you know, interesting requirement for tactics and strategic thinking, and this has never appeared. Uh, I'm at the final stage of uh, the second map, and my characters are so overpowered that there's abs almost no strategic decision making required whatsoever. Um, which is a little bit of a shame, because as you can see, my forces look quite good. Uh, I have found an excellent um, cosmetic armor for my liberators here. See, here's what they used to look like, and uh, oh, they look so good, I love them. Um, I've got great synergies. I I've found these legendary weapons that my characters are now equipped with that look awesome and feel great uh, to equip and to possess and collect. Um, I've got a bespoke lineup of characters here. These are my knights in Cantor. Don't they look great? Uh, let's have a look at their uh, fancy legendary staff here. Oh, it's so good. And it's reflected nicely in the game world. And collecting these characters and collecting gear for them and equipping them, it really does feel like you're working on a Warhammer army. And they've nailed that, and that aspect of the game is terrific. Unfortunately, they've kind of dropped the ball here. <laughs> Now, in the first act, every single new map was accompanied by a little bit of, uh, for the first time you played it, a little bit of gameplay explanation, and then there'd be some RP between you and some of the characters. And there were multiple RP tracks that it would throw at you each run through, so, you know, it would kind of keep things a little bit fresh. Throughout the entire second map, there has been no RP whatsoever. Um, the only storytelling is environmental with the character design, and frankly, this uh, rot army I find a little bit lazy compared to the ghost army that I was fighting in the first stage. Um, the design of their uh, environment, while you know, kind of creepy and gross, frankly, is not as good or as consistent in quality as. Uh, it was in the first maps. The character design, I feel, is also not as good. Even the animations are a little clumsier, which uh, you'll see. I guess I do like these guys, these giant rotten belly holes, that's fine. Um, and uh, furthermore, we have the issue here where that's um, There is no real challenge to this game whatsoever. Uh, and your decision, your, your strategic decisions don't matter all that much. Um, once you're at a certain power level. Now, my lineup against these enemies is actually not particularly good, uh, as they have the ability to strip my armor and do all sorts of weird stuff to me. I really need ranged units. I don't have a whole lot of range. But that won't matter. What is the grandfather's instruction? You see all of these effects popping up. Um, and there will be a lot of effects, uh, all the way down to these guys' spread uh, environmental effects, which should be interesting. Duty, honor, uh, okay, I guess we have to take two swings to kill these guys. Probably not. They'll attack me and I'll destroy them. Ever onward. But ultimately, none of the mechanics are going to matter whatsoever. Um, and once I have successfully accomplished the feat of gearing up my characters, there's no further reason to interact with the game except for to just hoover up new gear. Um, having the gear makes it less interesting to interact with the game world. Curse your blasphemous blades! Curse your blasphemous blades! Do not open your wings! What is the grasp for this instruction? Do not take it I am prepared to do my- I am! Justice has been served! Will not it shall be so. Furthermore, as you can see, the uh, the animations and the overall aesthetic of this isn't all that good compared to the first stages, anyway. And there's absolutely no RP or um, points of interest or ways that the game is trying to engage you in a storytelling way or a lore-based way, um, other than just throwing these guys at you. There are a large number of mechanics that are popping up. I'm trying not to talk over the guys. 
so you know you can see the gameplay and hear me at the same time. Um, I guess I'll just kill these guys. Right. And as I mentioned, this, this is now the very final stage. And I guess we should go ahead and summon some more guys. So, uh, they look great. They're super powerful. But uh, I could probably just sleepwalk through the entire first level only with my main character. Have you commands from our camp? Eat my play. Try some pustules. Now, one of the effects that's happening here is as I walk through the rock that these guys are putting on the ground. Oh, jeez, he's blocked my th shots. Um. With me. It's stripping my armor away, and this should be extremely concerning Ever to onward. me. Let's go ahead and bring out my Knights of Canter. And my play could be a little bit better and more precise, and we'd be, we'd be single on these guys even harder. But I'm still, I still don't feel like I'm in any particular danger. I need to change my tactics, or change anything that I'm doing whatsoever to keep up here. Also, now we're going to exploit some mechanics a little bit. Cohort, and maybe it's my me. fault for exploiting mechanics. Who knows? Uh, we're going to summon... Okay, hold on a second. This guy's a fun sum... Oh my goodness. Well, after all that talk, look who's just come to visit. Is this giant monster guy. Okay. Boy, and my guy is kind of hurting here, but we can heal him up immediately. Okay, well, I do enjoy this giant monster guy. I wish he was chatting with me. Everybody else has chatted with me so far. But look at this guy. It's the corruption of Nurgle. Let's see if he's actually a challenge for us. All right, we better make a strategic decision here. Now this guy, oh, can I can I bring this guy in? Great. He's fun on account of the fact that he will give an extra point of uh, shields to everybody permanently when he hits the map. All right, so that's, that's a fun interaction my guys have. Maybe it's too strong, I don't know. As I mentioned, these guys have been stripping my armor. I was gonna try and stand on all their little points here to keep to them from warping in on me. Commands. Oh boy, and there are a lot of them coming. Maybe I've spoken too soon, eh? Hmm. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, well... Let's see how this plays out. Killed up my main character. This guy's probably gonna die, but not necessarily. I think these red arrows mean that. Can they hit him? Or can they hit them? Sorcerers, eh? They can probably we hit me. We are Sigmar's heralds. All right. Let's call the storm down on this guy. I don't know what this guy's saying, but I like his style. Let's see here. Oh, I can really whack this guy. Alright, so we'll just move you into position. My wizard here gives uh, everybody within uh, Ever onward. three spaces of himself a damage bonus, which is great. Uh, okay, I can bring in another one of these guys or one of these guys. We're going to bring in this guy to block this and also use his bait. Have a look at this maggoty old guy. Suck it up. By the glorious beast you will Oh, but he has no ability to survive against us. These little nerdlings here are actually the most interesting part of this whole army. They don't actually attack you. They make this stuff on the ground that uh, allows the enemy to spawn units in and also destroys your armor. Um, you know, so they're pretty cool, but... Anyways, see, I was almost half excited this is going to be a battle, but no, I think I kill this guy, I and that's it. Like <laughs> right. Um, they narrated this, uh, this speech the last time I beat a, a stage. They're not doing at this stage. Um, I had one moment of hair-raising, uh, you know, uh, tactical anxiety that was immediately steamrolled by uh, just the 
inability of the collecting game to keep pace with or match up with the actual tactical game. Um, it's very satisfying to collect the characters and the war materials and to make your, your powerful units. Um, so you want to do it, and then the game punishes you by removing any actual gameplay from interfacing with uh, the, the combat systems once you've collected your, your war gear. Um, so I feel that this is a, a failure in game design uh, on part of this uh, the, the Stormgrounds product here. Furthermore, they seem to be getting lazier as the levels are continuing. Um, no narration, no roleplay, uh, didn't seem to be as many branching options in the second map as there was in the first. It was a much more linear experience. And now that it's over, it's, uh, you know, underwhelming. Let's see if we got any fun gear from it anyway. Oh, this looks like cosmetic armor. And then we got another time twister that we've already got. Ah, how interesting. Anyways, so ultimately, uh, I feel that this game needs some work in order to really engage the user as a, an interesting product. Um, currently, as it stands, it's kind of just a button-click grind machine that allows you to dress up fancy Warhammer figurines, which is fun, but not enough. Um, anyways, I hope that this video has been informative and useful to you, and I thank you very much for watching.